to enhance learning presents the CEL video series for creating apps in Thunkable. Through this video series, we aim to introduce you to the world of creating your own apps through platforms like Thunkable. Hello everyone, this is Ayush and I am excited to see you all today. As you all know, I love coding and I am a regular participant at CEL Hackathon. I will be your host for today. Welcome to the 5th episode of the series Table Reciter. In the last episode, we learned how to build a memory game. We have learned how to recite tables in our primary grades, right? Learning tables and how it works may help a student develop mental math skills which can be of great help in his or her daily life. Today, I am excited to create an app which will help us recite the tables of any number of your choice. That's right. Now you can even learn the tables of large numbers in a jiffy using this app. Today, we will make a table reciter to learn multiplication tables. Let us look at the demo of the project that we are going to create. I am going to make use of a ready project for the demo. Let me input the number 5 and click on the generate table button. The table of 5 with increments till 10 gets listed. Let me input one more number, let's say 26. The table for 26 also gets listed. This is how our app should work. Let us start by designing the prototype of the app. Before making it in Thunkable, we will create a draft in a notebook. I have used the label component for the title of the project and also for displaying the table after it is generated. As the user has to enter the number for which the table is to be generated, I have used the text input component to get the user's input. I have also used two buttons, one to generate the table and the other to share the table externally. This brings us to task 1. Pause here and create a prototype of the table reciter in your notebook. You can build on the idea that is shown to you by adding features of your own. After making the draft, I have designed the app like this in Thunkable. Let us look at this in detail. For the screen background, I have uploaded an image from my computer. This has increased the visual appeal. I have used a label for the title of the project. Then I have inserted the text input component for the user to enter a number. I have used two buttons one to generate the table and the other to share the table. I have also used a label to display the table. In this project, we will be using a new component called share which will enable us to share our table to other applications. Let us look at this in detail. The share component allows us to share any content from our project with other applications. The share component can be found in the blocks tab under the app features section. Using this component, we can share content to a phone number, call a phone number, share content to other applications like WhatsApp. We can also share images through this feature. In today's project, we will be sharing the table generated through email. We will use this feature when we are coding using the blocks later in the project. This brings us to task 2. Create the design of the app in Thunkable as per your prototype. Let us now move on to the block panel for the coding part. Let us create the variables required for the project. As you all know by now, the variables store values which change during the flow of the project. The first variable I will create will be called num, which will store the number entered by the user for which the table will be generated. I will initialize it with the value 0. The next variable I will create is called increment, whose value will increase from 1 to 10 during the project. I will also store the value 0 in it. The third variable I will create is the result variable. This will store the result of the multiplication in the table. To begin with, I will initialize it with the value 0. This brings us to task 3. Create variables for the number, the increment and the result of the table. 
while creating variables did you notice that we did not create multiple variables to hold the increment values or the results of the multiplication this is because we can use loops in our project which will help to use the same variable to store different values each time a loop is an instruction that repeats a specified number of times or until a specified condition is reached repetitive tasks are common in programming and loops are essential to save time and minimize errors let us look at loops in detail we all climb stairs right what we do is we first climb one step and then repeat the same action four more times to climb a total of five steps if i were to write a code for doing this i will need to write the same instruction five times right now suppose we have a new block which helps us to repeat an action multiple times i will use that block to repeat my instruction as many times as i want in this case i use the repeat five times code block to repeat my instruction five times isn't that cool let us see one more example of loops suppose we have to make 10 cheese sandwiches what we will do is first follow the steps to create one single sandwich and then repeat the same steps 10 times to create 10 different sandwiches here too we are using the concept of loops which helps us to easily repeat the steps 10 times without rewriting the code let us now look at how loops are used in our program to generate the table we need to multiply the number with the increment value from 1 to 10 to generate the result when the generate table button is clicked we first set the show table label to empty we then set the variable num to the number entered by the user we also set the result variable to zero as we need to start the table increment from 1 we set the increment variable's value to 1 as we need to have the table for 10 increments we will bring the repeat 10 times loop block from the control tab now we will write the code to calculate and display the first line of the table this will then get repeated 10 times with an increment of 1 due to the repeat 10 loop that we have used we multiply the num variable with the increment variable and store the answer in the result variable we then set the show table label to display the result in the format of a table using the join block from the text tab we join text and variables we join the label text followed by num variable followed by multiplication symbol followed by increment variable followed by equal to symbol followed by result variable after this we will enter a new line from text tab so that each line of the table starts in a new line to generate the table till the increment of 10 we need to increase the increment variable by a value of 1 the code looks like this let us test the app now by generating the table for a number let me enter the number 6 and click the generate table button we can see that the table for number 6 is generated This brings us to task 4. Write code for the application to generate the table when the generate table button is clicked. Now is the time to share our table with the world. 
will be using the email feature of the share component here when share table button is clicked we bring the email block We enter the email ID to whom the email needs to be sent. We then enter the subject of the email. For the message, we use the join block from the text tab. We first mention for which number we are creating the table. This is followed by a new line and the table we have generated. This is how the code looks. Let us now move to the final task. Write codes for the application to share the table you have generated with other applications. Let us now test the app that we have created. Please note that the share table feature can be tested only in live test on device feature of Thunkable. As you can see here, to connect our phone, we need to enter a code and then click the connect button. To generate the code, I have downloaded the Thunkerville app from Play Store in my mobile. It looks like this when opened. Here, I click on the Generate Test Code button and a test code is generated which I input on the computer and click Connect. Now my phone is linked to my app. I input the number 10 and click the Generate Table button. The 10th table is generated. I click the Share Table button and my default email application opens, ready to send the email. It has the email ID of the recipient, the subject and the message. We can click the send button to send the message. We have a perfectly working app now. You can use this app to learn the tables of any number, however big the number may be. Use this app with your friends and help them learn tables in a fun way too. Let us now take a short quiz to check your understanding. What will be the output of the following program? Post the video and try to answer. The answer option is B. The number doubles 5 times starting from 2. So the answer is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. In the next episode, we will be creating our first business app to order your favorite pizza. Isn't that exciting? Till then, stay tuned. This is Ayush signing off. Bye.